what the aim of this initiative was to do was to try and have a very open, deliberative discussion about what would be a fair way for countries to tackle this climate problem. Uh, which countries should be engaged to what depth and how much should they be doing, how much effort should they be undertaking. One of the first things that became very clear as these groups came together is that they were indeed very different and they had very different views on what would be fair, what would be fair shares. They haven't had different views about how exactly the issue of responsibility for causing this problem should be allocated. Um, should a country be responsible for emissions that happened a hundred years ago when it was industrializing, um, when now it's, it's a, you know, a very different country? Um, so there were discussions about these things. How should a country's capability to help solve the problem be discussed? What one sees is that it's the wealthier countries who are not meeting their fair shares, and it's many of the poorer countries who are. Um, I have to say that Germany is among the countries that is not meeting its fair share. Germany, as we know, is one of the wealthier countries that industrialized relatively early. It has contributed a large burden of greenhouse gas emissions to the atmosphere and to our current levels of warming. Um, and it has taken significant action. I think Germany has to be considered a leader in terms of its technological innovation of solar and wind, and in terms of its actual efforts to deploy renewable energy. But compared to what would be fair for Germany, that's just not enough. And so there's currently a debate going on in Germany about when to phase out coal, lignite in particular, which, which as, as we uh, are never tired to point out, Germany is actually world leader in producing and burning. So there are several dates on the table. One is 2050, one is 2040, another is 2025. From your perspective of an equity review, can you just say something on those three different dates? One thing that we know, and this actually comes from analysis by the UNFCCC Secretariat itself, is that along our current pledges, and uh, the pledges for 2020 from Copenhagen, the pledges from uh, Paris for, for 2030 and, and beyond, the remaining budget, carbon budget, that we have to keep within, if we really want to keep warming below 2 degrees, it would be half depleted by 2025. It would be three quarters depleted by by 2030, and emissions would still be rising. So it would be depleted shortly after 2030. The budget that we would need to keep within to keep warming below one and a half degrees is even smaller. It would be depleted by 2025. So that gives us a sense of the scale of the urgency. 2050 for phasing out midnight is not an option. Is not an option. Um, I think that we need to think very carefully about the fact that with a budget so limited, what it gets allocated toward really is itself a matter of equity. There are countries for whom there are basic needs that still need to be left, met. Um, for example, for, for clean cooking fuel. And it may well be the case that LPG is the best way to meet that. And if it is, then that sort of thing is what should be prioritized. So I think Germany should see itself as being among the first in line for phasing out its use of fossil fuels.